what is up YouTube now of course since I already did a quick game I had to show you guys me playing online to show you the online aspect of course because for some of you guys who don't know 2k13 demo you can play online against other opponents which is pretty nice and the reason I didn't do that the first time is because I didn't want to get any lag or anything like that in the video so you guys would see it clearly you know full speed because the demo does seem a little bit slow but you know it's just the demo so I'm not exactly sure and I am playing as the heat now what I wanted to talk about is people rage quitting on the demo and I've played about eight times so far I haven't lost you know and the reason the main reason is I think I picked up on the controls pretty well like I know how to spin dunk I know how to you know alley you things like that and the one thing I'm wondering is, I mean, it's just a demo. I mean, why are so many people rage quitting and things like that? And the main reason I ask that is because the whole reason I'm playing mainly is when the game drops on the second, I want to make sure I have every single control down possible. So when I play this, I'm trying to get as much practices as I can. And by the time the game comes out, I want to know how to do everything and things like that. And the whole thing is, I mean, it's just a demo. Like, I understand people want to win. Me, personally, I want to win when I play this, too. You know, so, so far, out of my eight games, I've won six, and I've had two people rage quit on me. What's, what's interesting is one guy, you know, he wasn't really playing for, like, a, like a few seconds, and then the score ended up being 18-6 to six was, like, my highest score, and it was, like, two minutes left in the game. And then he rage quit, and then another guy, I don't remember what happened, I think I was up by like five or two minutes ago, and he rage quit or something like that, which, like, he had a chance. And the whole thing is, if you want to be the best, you know, you got to beat the best. So, me personally, when I play online or anything like that against my friends or something, I never want to quit. The one thing I ask myself is, why is this person so much better than me? What are they doing that is so much better than me that I can't compete with them? And me personally, how I play is I kind of analyze what my opponent's doing and I see what their go-to thing is and I try to stop that and that's how I play. So about that being said is, you know, if you're playing someone good, I wouldn't advise quitting just because you're losing, but take it as a learning experience. And by that, I mean getting better at the game, you know, just keep playing. Because obviously if you play the people who aren't good, you know, or people you kill every time by like 30 points, then obviously that's not doing you any favors. So that's just what I want to say about people rage quitting. Like, it's not like I hate rage quitters, but at the same time, like, if you're going to play the game, you know, play it all the way through and stuff like that. You know, that's where I think the best results come out of because I've never rage quit a 2K game or anything like that. Like, I play to the end no matter what. And right here, I'm kind of afraid of the off the backboard dunk because as you see, I did it through traffic with not much of a problem which kind of makes me nervous because I feel like it's going to be abused but at the same time I don't play online too much so I don't know if it's going to concern me and then so right here I was down 8-2 to two. I'm not sure if I win so let's see if I can get a comeback and right there I get a nice alley-oop lob to LeBron James so the whole thing about alley-oops if you want to do it off the backboard you have to point towards the backboard and push the alley-oop button if you want to do it to a specific defender because I remember sometimes in 2k12 where I tried to push it right and he still alley -oop it left to someone like a point guard or something. So when it comes to alley -ooping, whatever direction you push the um, directional pad in, that's who they're going to lob it to. So I thought that was pretty cool. And this guy I was playing, you know, he wasn't bad. He wasn't one of the best people I've played. Probably the best person I played on the whole demo. But the whole thing about that, um, he was a little crazy. So at first I was just going to let the computer guard him because it seemed like he was just turboing. As you can see, Westbrook's very tired right there. But, you know, I can't go out like that. I have to play, you know, on-ball defense and things like that because, I don't know, the CPU just plays too good a defense most of the time, especially on harder levels and things like that. So, you know, I had to man up with him. And also in this demo, you can see the boxing out I was talking about because at one point in the video, he gets like eight, like three offensive rebounds in a row, which, you know, I was just like, what's going on here and things like that. And right there with LeBron James, I'm taking it to the basket. Trying to use a crossover stick, you know, I kind of forget the buttons, but at the same time, I still remember them and things like that. And LeBron James is still not a shooter. You know, I've shot quite a few open threes before and nothing happened, so he never makes it. But then again, that's LeBron James for you. So this guy was trying to use Westbrook basically the whole game. And I was trying to get a steal right here, 
I was in position, but I pushed square a little bit too early, and I was trying to get back. And he does check up through Westbrook, and he misses. And right there, Ibaka does get in a nice tip, and so I'm down by four with a minute to go. But when you're down, there's no reason to panic, because if you panic, it's just only going to get worse. So stay calm, you know, do everything you can. And right there, see, I just get a nice, easy pass. Just try to get a quick bucket and things like that. Don't go chucking up threes or anything like that, because you're never going to win that way. And right there, a lot of people were talking about that, the being forced out. They don't call the foul. But my opinion, that's just good defense. If someone cuts you off and doesn't actually force you to go out of bounds, then it's out of bounds. So right there, I did force them out of bounds. And they did do a substitution. So I don't know who this unit is. But right there, I get a nice pass to Haslam. And I go up and I do get fouled. And I like that animation. He didn't just, the foul didn't just happen. It still went with the shot. And I've never shot a free throw with him. So I was not clutch in that situation. But I did learn how he shoots free throws. So I happened to make that one. So I'm down by one with 40 seconds to go. Right here trying to get a stop. He has a ball with Eric Maynard, who's a really good backup point guard in my opinion. But he takes a dumb shot. And right there he gets a rebound. Takes another shot. Misses. That should have been a rebound. I don't know why Haslam was running away. I guess that was me. Misses again. And he does get another rebound. So no one is boxing out. But we do get a steal. And I'm taking on the break. And I'm going to hit Bosch just because it's a big man who has a better chance of making it. And he does make a nice right-handed layup. So with about 18 seconds left, I'm only up by one. So there's still something he can do. He still has a good opportunity to score. So right here, I'm going to try to get a steal. And right there, Charlotte Lewis does get a steal. And I'm with Ray Allen, I'm going to try to lob it off the backboard. But somehow, he only lobs it up to Bosch. And he does make the layup. So I'm up by three or four seconds. And the guy still has a chance to make a win. But I don't think he'll be able to get close enough. So right there, he's going to chuck it up. And it almost goes in, but it doesn't go in. And that's going to be it for the game. So I won by three. It was a pretty good comeback. So just one thing I want to let you guys know is if you're playing this demo, you're only going to get better by not rage quitting and things like that. And continuing, continuously playing over and over and trying to get better and things like that and learning from the game when you play. So that is going to do it for my video. I hope you guys enjoyed me playing online just so you guys can see a little bit of my skills compared to the CPU on Pro. So thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll have the link of the previous game I've played in the description and the controls in the description. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.